um, wet, grey, rainy day and uh, everybody starts thinking about uh, bhajiyas for some reason. Me, I start thinking about hot liquids like rasams and soups. So I've already got a few rasams videos and now uh, the first of the soup ones. This time I'm making um, mutton shorba. That's a mutton soup. Here are all the ingredients. Uh, the details uh, with quantities will be in the description and uh, the important thing here is the mutton itself uh, I've asked the butcher to give me with uh, the meat on bones with uh, marrow bones and fat so that's what really makes the soup the, the bones and the marrow and the fat so let's go okay I've started heating the oil roughly two tablespoons of it and once the oil is heated I'll start with the whole spices the khada masala give the khada masala two or three minutes uh, max you know as the flavors the aroma starts coming out we shall continue with the rest which would be okay they're crackling a bit the aroma is coming in nicely so let's put in the onions i'm going to use about two thirds of the onions now uh, the rest will go in the garnish and we'll come to that later i'm going to like let the onions uh, brown a bit not much but just start getting brown so that will take about five seven minutes I guess okay the onions are now browned as much as I want them and time to put the mutton in okay now I'm gonna let the mutton this get grey um, you know and let the water come out of the mutton and go back in so that's a process that will take about 10 12 15 minutes or so and that's very important because that's this frying of the mutton is a very very crucial part that's what will determine how the end product smells and tastes if you do it right so that's what we'll do take your time put do this now on a full high flame okay it's been about 10 12 minutes maybe and uh, the great thing about this is it gives you enough time to go and fix the drink mm. the water has now come out and it's almost gone so let's move on to adding all the other stuff so first I'll go with the garlic and now I'll reduce the flame a bit don't want the garlic burning okay the sharpness of the garlic has gone smell so now the ginger paste you could use a garlic ginger paste but I prefer to have more garlic and less ginger so and I don't know what ratios they use in those mixed pastes so I do my own now I put the turmeric in and the salt later we can adjust the salt right now I'm putting maybe one tablespoon worth of salt mix it all a little bit of water to see that it doesn't burn the turmeric doesn't burn just a pinch mix it all well give the turmeric a little time to start cooking and Add the carrots. Carrots give a nice sort of 
base to it and also then it feels like health food you know we've got vegetables in there so, this is now back to full high speed high flame add some water we'll cover it with water and give it a mix so just enough water to cover everything and now cover and I'll bring it to a boil let it come to a boil I'll then let it cook on a high heat for about 10 minutes closed and then the next step um, this is a process that can be done in a pressure cooker in about five seven minutes or whatever uh, I prefer doing it this way because you know all the masalas and all start to get into the meat so I like it this way but otherwise if you want a quicker way pressure cook it and the whole cooking process then gets much less at this stage uh, keep stirring it every now and then so that nothing sticks to the bottom as you can see the water has almost evaporated I'm gonna wait till it completely does so um, the water is pretty much evaporated now I'm going to add uh, the pepper, ground pepper, or as they always say in all these recipes, freshly ground, but it isn't freshly ground. I ground it a few days back and I'm going to mix it and I'm going to then let it fry a bit, the pepper, meat, the second round of frying. We had the first round before we put anything in other than the onions and chilies. okay that's nicely done now we'll just add the water well more it's supposed to be a soup so um, so as you can see I have topped it up with a lot of water and I'm gonna let the water come to a boil and then slow it down cover it and cook it for maybe about 45 minutes or so there will be a couple of drinks, yeah, I think two, maybe three drinks and hopefully watch Umran Malik rattle some stumps. Um, so it's come to a boil, I'm going to cover it and put it on simmer and come back. Well, every 10-12 minutes I'll come and check, give it a stir, but otherwise basically about approximately 45 minutes of uh, cooking or I'm guessing two and a half to three drinks. Drooling away, waiting for that little bit of mutton I'm gonna give her now. Okay, so the meat's been cooking now for about, I just finished two drinks and I've poured the third one, had a sip of two, so I'm guessing about 40, 45 minutes. Uh, now, meat is cooked well, taste is great um, this is the time you can adjust the consistency you want you know let it reduce but I'm quite fine let it cook another five seven minutes while I do the um, onions for the garnish okay and the that uh, drooling dog something set aside for her so I shall go in and give it to her So I'm going to take a little more of the oil and um, as you can see I'm using cast iron but whatever works for you. I'm not a great fan of not a great fan of the non-stick um, but then uh, that's how I started it's easier you need little practice to get used to these. Okay some oil oil heats up we'll start browning we'll brown the onions caramelize them pop them in here with the okay oil seems hot enough and so here goes Mm. 
now i'll stir it around let it become nice and uh, black not black but dark very dark brown totally caramelized and then the limbu will go in last i'm not going to put the limbu in now because uh, one of my guests doesn't have can't have khatta just now um so i sort of finished half the drink while um caramelizing these they look pretty good now i don't want them to burn so gas goes off and so the caramelization is done i'm now going to add it to nicely dark and brown as you can see and right now i'm on a low flame and now the kothmir and the balance of those couple of julienes of chilies put them in mix it up and dinner is ready I have to figure out how I can look into camera without ducking. Not much beats a hot, tasty soup dunked with pow on a wet monsoon day.